When it comes to your concerns or complaints, don't get mad. Say, I'm telling Ken. So we hear that from Ken all the time, don't we? Well, Ken today was in Orange Park listening to what people were talking about. Sometimes people were mad, but whatever. They had <laughs> legitimate complaints about various items. One, Clay Transit, and they were calling for more civic pride. That's correct, Jeannie. It was lights, camera, action at 9 a.m. And while some were there for a cup of coffee and, and a breakfast sandwich, others came to share their concerns about their community. And anyway, what brings you in? At Urban Bean in Orange Park, known for its coffee and bagel sandwiches. One thing that's freaking crazy. We met consultant Lawrence Weir. This, this is two ninety five. That's two ninety five. He expressed his concerns about a food desert west of Interstate two ninety five and I ten. So not a single grocery store. Uh, you've got people who don't have cars. Where do they get their food? We also met optometrist Jacob Hodges at Urban uh, B. You know, I'd love to see more more city pride. He told us he's tired of those who only see Jacksonville through negative lenses. I mean, we have such an amazing city with so much to offer. How, how do you change the messaging? It's a tough question. Uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I have a great answer. We heard about civic pride and civic involvement. What's on your mind? You said you had a lot to say. Larry well, Roberts is excited about the Emerald Trail and what Groundwork Jacksonville is now doing. Yeah, you're connecting these neighborhoods that have been separated. These walkways, these pedestrian paths now will help rejoin those sections. Have a seat. Ronald and Lynette Thomas came to tell us about their home improvement woes. And I want my kitchen done correctly. It's a problem on your side will investigate in the days ahead. So now I'm just asking for someone to help us out to be a, a third party because he don't want to work with us. Ken Rodwanski is disappointed with the now defunct Clay Transit. It's not fair. It's not right. JTA has picked up some of the service, but he says it is still lacking. Oversight maybe. But there's a lot of people out there like myself that, excuse me, I'm sorry. are left out there and they can't walk that far. Now, the last time I spoke with the JTA about this issue, it was following a protocol of those with an urgent need first. Next Tuesday, not Monday, next Tuesday, we'll be at Beach Diner in Ponte Vedra from 9 until noon. Back to you.